say, as much as people, I mean, people like the Vita, it's not like people don't, but it has its issues, and I feel like if Sony were to just lower prices, people would shut up. I think it'd do way better if they got their shit together with that crossplay. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's talk about that. Or, you they're, know, they're waiting for the PS4 for that. Yeah, they really are, but still, they shouldn't have said shit about doing it with uh, the, the PS3, PS3, otherwise, I mean, like, they're lying. They're, they're just like, oh yeah, PSP is going to be able to play your PS3 games, guys. Oh, we see how well that worked with Blaze Blue. <laughs> see how, it worked with, how well that worked with anything. Oh my god, Blaze Blue is a wreck. Play, play a PlayStation 1 game on a remote play where you're sitting right next to your PS3. There's still, there's still a bad lag to it. It amazes yeah. me. That it, they're just like, yeah, no. But I think more cool. people definitely want to get like a Vita if they can play their console games on the go. This you know, Don't you need to have your PS4 for on for that? Well, say, I, well I, no, you could do it over the internet, just like you can with the, the well, PSP. You, you your, PS, your PS3 will have to be like plugged in and on standby, but yeah. other than that, you can turn it on remotely. But here's a, here's, here's one thing that the, uh, the Vita or the Sony has in general over the Nintendo and the 3DS. Cross-buying. That's a oh, nice, yeah, that's a nice little thing, especially, yeah, especially, yeah. When, especially when Nintendo, because they're notorious for releasing the same game ten times for like ten different platforms. I know I'm exaggerating, but like, you know, if you go to the eShop and like Kirby's Adventures is available for the eShop and you already have bought it for your Wii, you have to buy it again. Well, you really expect them to have it available for but both. I'm, I know, but I'm saying like this is an example. Like, what, Wait, and people say the same thing about uh, the Vita and the PS3. They're like, well, where, where's the Vita? Why can't I just have the Vita version like Blaze Blue? You know, some people are like, oh, I, got, I bought Extend. Why, why don't I get the Vita version? But, you know, these, they're still doing it with some games like that. Sly Cooper game, they did it with, uh, you know, PlayStation All-Stars. <sighs> yes, they did. It's, it's, it's just a nice option to have. It's, it really is. Like, sometimes, like, you know, you buy a game, you buy a game and it's for both consoles, it's just nice to have it for both, especially if you're a Sony, uh, well, not a Sony fan, but you just, you just like Sony products. And you both. One of our friends yeah. says a Sony nut hugger. <laughs> they, well, they even did that for, been doing it for DLC. Like, say, for example, also Marvel's Capcom. Or uh, Street Fighter Cross Second. If you had DLC, like outfits, colors, you name it, whatever, that you downloaded for your PS3 version, it's free on your Vita. Or if vice versa, if I remember correctly. Exactly. Wait, wait, did you say Street Fighter Cross Second? Yes, it is. Oh, God, Satan is waking <laughs> up right Fighter now. Cross Tekken. Uh oh. You just summoned the devil. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I can't even see what you guys are doing, so I don't even know what you're talking about. No, I'm just. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm fucking with you. So, Jeremy, you know what you did. You know what you yeah, did. Yeah, there we go. With the I haven't versed there, these enemies in the Vita version. No? What? No, I haven't. No, I first... well, totally irrelevant to the subject. Where was I taking a cross street fighter? Yeah, <laughs> I was just thinking about <laughs> it. Ain't gonna happen. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's keep that, That's definitely not happening. <laughs> so anyway, um, for everyone, well, people who might know or might not, right now Fred is playing Muramasa the Demon Blade, which is also available on the PlayStation Vita as Muramasa Rebirth. Here, guys. The visuals do look improved on the Vita version, of course. Because you got that small, oh, LED screen. And also, uh, well, Fred, you can answer this better than anyone right now. The con- how do the controls feel on both? I feel as though it works better with the simplified controls on the Wii. Yeah. It, it just feels better than me, personally. I don't know. Damn boy. You guys have been playing I, it. I never, I never played the Wii version, so I can't really say. It's just simplified a little bit more... So that it works out better? I don't know. Maybe it's using the analog? Because I can use the D-pad to walk around. You have to use yeah. the analog with the Vita. I think I, I just prefer the, the D-pad, maybe? I don't know. I mean, with more Monster Rebirth on the Vita, at first it felt a little bit weird with using analog. But I kind of got over it real quick, and now it's just kind of like safe, like second nature. It's yeah, not yeah, even so like I'm guessing that won't, that's what my problem is. Because I can like, use I the analog like a personal with the classic thing, yeah. controller. So with uh, the Vita right now, one of the big games coming out, of course, is Dragon's Crown. People are really looking forward to that. I am too. I plan on uh, I'm, I'm day so one excited for that. getting that. So people are like, this is this might be what saves the Vita. I'm not too sure about that. I doubt it. Yeah, let's go get in. Let's go in here and get wrecked. I'm still a firm believer of a price drop would save it. It would. Look uh, what happened in a Japan. Price drop, yeah. yeah, price drop would definitely I don't see why that price drop didn't see uh, the light of day outside of Japan. I lo- wait, I like that. A hundred armored monks just doesn't tell you what to do. It just says a hundred armored monks. Oh, they're going to wreck me. They're wrecking me already. Anyway, I don't know. But 
I mean, look at this game. This looks nice. Mirror Monsters. Vanilla Wear is really nice with how their game, yeah, their visuals are real nice and striking. People just come buckets for Odin Sphere, right? So. I still want to play that game. You can still it's buy it. Yeah, Lotus, bro. Yeah, I, I, I'll download it after I beat some other games. No, uh, no excuse. No but excuse. yeah, so I guess it boils down to with the Vita. Price drop on both the system and the memory cards. Release more of the games that are in Japan over here. Just show more support in general. There's not enough Vita support, you know. Or yeah, advertising. Not enough of it. Not enough of it here, at least. But yeah, definitely, definitely on the uh, the system uh, price drop. Maybe I guess maybe some of the memory cards. I don't I don't think some of the prices are that. I mean, for 16 gig, I guess the 16 gig and the 32 gig ones, those prices are a bit ridiculous. Like what was it, 60 bucks? For a, a 16 gig and 100 bucks for a 32 gig card. They need to lower that like a lot. Yeah, those two I can understand, but I mean the other the other prices aren't that bad. Oh, maybe maybe give the maybe give the console a price drop and include like a 4 gig card or something in there. Maybe something will happen. Gamescom's coming up, so maybe Sony will announce something then. Maybe. Maybe. I don't How know. about some? I think I got an even better idea. How about some bundles? Like nice bundles with like decent games. You ain't never getting that Soul Sacrifice beta, so get out of here. No, we're not, well. I mean, something different. Like when Dragon's Crown comes out, be like, "Hey guys, Dragon's Crown's coming out. We got a Dragon's Crown bundle. Get the system. They're not and gonna Dragon's do it. Crown, add an eight gig card for like such and such amount. They're not know. gonna do it. Of course not. They wouldn't do it. They're not gonna. But it would be nice. You're right. Or or other bundles like for I remember over I think it was when PlayStation Plus first came out. They had that, I think it was a limited run bundle, where, uh, it might have been, for, I don't remember one, but anyway, it was a limited run bundle, I think, for, uh, it came with the system, uh, placed, uh, subscription to PlayStation Plus, and you could get those three games, you know, Gravity Rush, Wipeout, and Uncharted, yeah, but yeah, Uncharted, uh, mm. for, you know, a certain amount of price. Gravity poop. And then you got them all for free anyway. Well, yeah. Well, what I mean is, like, because of PlayStation Plus, you get them for free. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So you get those three games with, with, with the system and the PlayStation Plus subscription for... I forgot how much the price was. But it was a pretty good bundle. You I bring it back. I would like... I would really like for the Vita to start succeeding a bit near or past the 3DS. I'm liking my Vita way more than I am my 3DS. I can agree with that as well. I use I, my Vita way more. I've, I've only got so many games on I my like 3DS. I like my Vita more than my 3DS. Yeah, you don't even own one. You don't um, even have one. Exactly. I, uh, I, I only have a few titles for my 3DS. It's not like the DS where I'm like, oh man, all these titles. But, no, I, I've only got a few. And right now there's really not that many games on the 3DS I even want. Yeah, I mean, I guess it comes down to personal thing. But for oh. me, personally... Here's the a big thing. I don't know. There's there's only so few games I really play. And the only games that have gotten me really on my 3DS were Monster Hunter, Three Ultimate, and Project X Zone, which I got recently, which is pretty fun actually. It's all about that yeah. mighty Switch Force. You know what? You know what's a big thing that everyone keeps overlooking. Nintendo seems to seems to have done, and they don't really give a shit. Region lock. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, the Wii U and the three D S are both region locked. To be honest, earlier when we were talking about porting, when you said port, I thought I thought oh, for some reason Im I thought of import and I thought I thought we were gonna talk about it then. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. No, I, I seriously when you said port, I seriously thought you meant like importing So anyway I, was I know you I know we had we had this discussion about importing before, like a year ago or something, but I feel like not having a region lock is a good thing. Why region lock a system? If anything, if you feel that, if you feel that, uh, you know, if you, if you really want to region lock something, why don't you just region lock the game itself, not the console? Like Persona? They, they did it before, they can do it again. I, I don't know, I just don't see the point in region locking something, you know? It just seems so pointless. All it does, all it does is help, help gain sales in that region, that's all it does. Yeah, that's great, especially when I can't, you know, buy it at all, I can't play it. Well, if you can't buy it at all, there's that, but I'm saying, like, in general, sometimes people just can't. Like, for example, imagine Smash Bros. came out, like, three months before it came out here, for, for some reason. 
people, people, there would be impatient people who would just import it. That's why I, you buy three, that's, four that's copies. That's exactly what happened. Like with, with the analog uranium. Yeah. Now wait, do you think the, uh, these Japanese companies specifically are not looking at import sales? Oh. Do you think like they're not yeah. they're not looking at the sales on Play Asia and they're not they're like oh wow look at all these people importing it to the U S because there's probably a way that. to track that. Look at that. Well, it, you also you also gotta eat it. Hell yeah. Oh look at that. Hell yeah. So good. Oh it looks so good, girl. Oh I'll get I that. Like, I like how you kind of just dip it and put it back. So no, you eat it. I know, but don't it looks even like know what you guys are talking about. Muramasa. Yeah, I know. I can't see it. He's eating sushi. Uh. No, but like. I'm not entirely sure how Play Asia runs, but like, isn't Play Asia just a community of like actual consumers just selling it to us? Like, it's not it's not the company. No, it's a company. But I'm saying no, I'm saying but Play Asia, for example, like it's not like a game. Com- a, Nintendo makes a game. It doesn't come out here in America. Yeah. It's not like Nintendo's putting their game on Play Asia, and then people are buying it. Play Asia is putting it on Play Asia. No, and it's like Amazon. Them. So Nintendo is an actual vendor on Play Asia. You know, maybe. That's what I'm saying. Like no, I don't, I'm not too sure because I'm not sure how like Play Asia runs. But right? I'm just saying, you you think that these Japanese companies have to see when people are importing stuff, and they're like, if there's too many people, there's it's got to be some sort of push here. There's there's a copy of our game going outside the country. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, I mean, why there's a pension going? You know, there's a pension going around right now to petition. get Nintendo. What? Petition. Pension. Petition. Same pension. Thing. Yeah, you know. Money. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. There's one of those going around right now for Nintendo to undo the region lock. Because they could do it. They probably could. Just with a patch or something. The question is, will Nintendo even give a crap? At least they're not doing what they did back in the day where the, where the uh, cartridges were two different shapes. And you couldn't fit one in, one in the, con- oh, yeah, yeah, in the yeah. console or the other without getting like, some sort of like pin adapter. But the, what, okay, with the, the, for an example, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You want that, right? It looks nice. Right? You want to play that? It does look sexy. Now, what, yeah, if, the P- what if the PS3 was region locked and you can't import that? I, I can't say I've ever imported a game, so... Wouldn't that suck, though? What if you were really, like, excited for it and you're like, I want to play Here, this? Here's my true opinion on that. This is... I'm going to get on that real go, quick. Go ahead. No. It, it Having it not region locked is a nice option. But you know what was also a nice option that right. I really didn't care about? The, the install your own OS. It was an option that was there. I thought it was cool, but I never used it. Some yeah. people were Some, really upset. Yeah, I mean, they were. I mean, like, yeah, people who used it, people who planned on using it, I did the whole finger thing, you know. You know air, quotation, air, quotations. air quotations. But, like, you know, like, it's, it's it was just a function that, like, not many people use. Like, you're, like, maybe one out of ten people who used it. Like, yeah, of course, that's a, an exaggeration, but whatever. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, I love the fact that I can import a game and it's not region locked, but, like, I... Can't say I've true. I've done it before. I've never done it before. Well, so I mean, like with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, it just looks like if that's the case, that might look like the only the only game I might do it with. If that's the case, because if I can get it for a decent price, then yeah, I'll pick it up. Well, seventy eight dollars new, no shipping. I mean, with shipping, that's not bad. That's good. That's a good deal. Comes free shipping. Anyway, um, to counteract that thing you just said about the OS, I mean, more people would import than they would using links uh, Linksys on. Not like which, oh, which is most likely what, true. What the fuck was it called? What, what was the OS that they Linux. took? Linux. That that thing, whatever. I'm just saying, more people import. It was kind of understandable why they got rid of it. It was they didn't want to support it anymore, and it was a, it was just a, it was really just a tool for people. No, to, see that, that I can understand. It was like, a tool for people to hack the console. So people are people are really uh, yeah. Your friend's right. There were a lot of people that were like, oh, Sony, why'd you do that? Sony. So, oh, Sony, why'd you do that? I can't play those Blu-ray games anymore off my hard drive. I can't drive. play Super Mario on my PS3. No. Anyway. But yeah, importing. I just feel like... Don't region lock the console. There's no point. Like, a big example was... I At Anime Next, when the when Dream Drop Distance was still like not here in the US... Oh, I was pressing the wrong button the I was really time. considering just buying it. But it'll be in Japanese. So what? what? I wanted really. it. But then I'm like, and there's you no. You wouldn't understand the story at all. You could find translations. You imagine you're the one of those unfortunate souls who played, who didn't play any of the Kingdom Hearts, and you could pretty much just play Dream Drop Distance to get the whole story there. But it was in Japanese, and you couldn't understand. Yeah, but <laughs> no, the same thing with uh, the Yakuza game. The, um, the Yakuza game I imported, uh, Kenzen. Mm. Like someone has it all translated 
online. And I'm not yeah, talking do, about do the you video. Do you stop playing it because you're at a standstill because you don't understand what's going on? Yeah, but no, I have the I have all the translation stuff I need now. And now you gotta read it. So what? Where you play it. So what? Just saying. I don't care. At, at a point, it become it can't become an inconvenience. I guess. Or too much work to play a game. Well, it's, it's not just a I guess. I mean, it kind of it kind of can be because like you know sometimes you you need to understand certain things or do certain things. And like if you can't read the language, understand the language, that's gonna be a real hindrance, and you I'm, can't like you can't. All right, fine. I mean, I mean, despite despite things. what I just said, and despite what Jeremy just said, if you want to do all that to play a game that you enjoy, then that's your choice. Like that's all you. Like I'm not gonna put you down for it. But for someone like me, I'm not gonna like like when uh, for example, like Black Tide Three Three didn't come here. Now I was playing, I was playing the ROM for a while. That was in Japanese, and after a while, I was like, I can't do this. Like it's just, I don't know what's going on, and I really like the story. And you know there were it's easy I would imagine it's easier to English patch a uh, Game Boy Advance game than a PS3 game, but you know, at the time I didn't know how to get one, so I was just like I'm I'm done for now. But that was just me. I'm I'm a quitter. I just <laughs> I just wish they wouldn't take away the option, you know. Well, we're we're good with Sony. They're not gonna take the. Yeah, no, they're they're not they're going. Not gonna, they're not stupid enough to go ahead. They confirmed there's no region lock on the PS4. Exactly. There's no region. There was region lock on the PS2 though. Was there? Yeah, there was. That's weird. Yeah. You needed, like, um, a certain it disc was. to play it. Oh, I remember that. How the good. fuck do you keep doing that? What? The spinning thing. How? Yeah. Uh, why button? All, all swords have a special attack. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that. Stupid. That's, yeah, I, I forgot what button was in that. Oh, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, Is there anything else to say? I never knew the PS2 was region locked. You learn something new every day. Yeah, no, it was totally fucking region locked. Yeah, they were, like Jeff said, it was like specific. Namco, or um, like that. Namco Cross Capcom. Now, when that game came out, people, I remember Greg, uh, he had it, but he had to get like the the magic disc or whatever to play it. I have a number now, yeah. Yeah, you have to like break your the fat PS2 like the front part off so you can like slide it out. That's how I played the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Three before it came to the U.S. Is that we uh, used the disc. We pulled it out and we put the disc in. That way it'll read as a Japanese PS3. Did you know apparently Jap? I'm oh, sorry, PS2s. Did you know Japanese PS2s had red and not blue? Apparently. What do you, mean? you know, I, like how the the, s- the screen pulls up. You know how like the blocks and all that are there. It's oh. not blue. It's red for them. That flag, man. It's weird. <laughs> so anyway, um, in closing, bye, Vita. No. Support Sony. Beat. Little Deviance Support wasn't Sony. made for Sony so fans. We can get more games. Pick up that sweet ass Mod Nation Racers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That lag fest. Yes. You mean you mean the company that no longer exists that made that game? What company made that game? Exactly. Uh, I don't even rem- <laughs> yeah, I don't even remember. <laughs> that's nice. Dead in the water. That's who made it. Well, they probably deserved it. Uh, yeah. I really got nothing else. Yeah. Well, all I can say is, uh, in terms of Vita versus 3DS, it's clear who in America, at least in America, well, probably everywhere, which portable system people prefer. Um, even though Vita is picking up in Japan, but we're not Japan. We're in America, the greatest nation on Earth. I'm pretty sure Sony renamed their the Vita to like. The Sony Nintendo 3DS also. All right, what if they just called? <laughs> what if they just called the Vita America? They should have just went with PSP too. New, what was it? Um, new generation portable. NGP. I that would work. Next too. generation. Anyway, next so generation in closing, portable. is there anything else? Oh, we talked about crossplay, cross yeah. ties. We talked about region lines, supporting, importing. Uh, I don't know. Not much more I can say about it. Other than that, I have my V and my 3DS on me every day at work, so. Both of them? Yeah, I pull. If I. If, since I'm done with my Switch Force, I'm going back to God Eater and, uh. Oh, you hear that, Nintendo Blue. fans? We need to play God well, Eater. What I personally have to say is give the Vita a chance. Give it some more time. It's only been, what, a year since it came out? Give it just give it a little more a little more lifetime. We'll see what happens. It's gonna gain it's gonna gain momentum just like the PSP and it's gonna have a bunch That's, of awesome. Yeah, games. what game? Ho- hopefully hopefully not by the end of its life. Here's lifetime, a question, but. what fucking game Monster Hunter did on the PSP if that isn't happening? Oh we got a metal gear. Maybe we'll get another one. No. Shut up. I don't believe that. 
I don't believe Metal Gear is what's going to make the Vita a killer app thing. What's that? Ecosystem, up? like everyone keeps saying. Ecosystem? That's what everyone keeps saying. Ecosystem. I don't know. That's a story Jack Trenton was day. like, yo, ecosystem, bro. That's a story for another day. Yeah, what do I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ecosystem. Ah, ecosystem. All the big people keep saying that. All the big what, people. Referring, referring to it as an ecosystem? Yeah, apparently. The Didn't play. I explain that to you before, actually? I don't really care. Yeah, I didn't think you did. It's a console. It plays games. Ecosystem what? No. <laughs> Well, I think the reason they refer to it as ecosystem is like the online infrastructure. It works like an ecosystem. You have all these people, you know, doing things together. <laughs> just like animals in an ecosystem or even plants work together to form an ecosystem. You see what I'm getting at here? I don't know. I played Blaze. I played Blaze with my video the other day and there was only like two people online. The, the ecosystem's dead. It don't matter. It was an ecosystem. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah. So, well, I'm at. Jeff. No one cares who you are. No one really cares. And Fred's playing no more Masa. Yeah, no, no one does. And uh, Mr. Jeremy, Sexy Jeremy's on the uh, Skype on the video. Bye, Ouya. Yeah. Gamer's choice. Maybe I'll be there next time. Get nope. Hey. Nope. Ouya. Yeah. Gamer's choice. Buy the, buy the new NVIDIA Ouya. game tablet. Thing. Oh, you mean the NVIDIA Shield? Yeah, buy that. That'll be a discussion, <laughs> that'll be a discussion for next time, Because that guess. killed him. No, I'm just kidding. Ugh. Anyway, thanks for watching. Press like for options. Out. Go oh. fucking watch us.